What the heck is this? Hold on, hold on, what? Hello? Or stage, we're going to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. Never seen this before. Hello, hello everybody, my name is Nick Fox and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Boy, do I have a story to tell about this game, my lord. So, uh, first and foremost, I haven't been able to make content for a week because I have been sick. And I went into a whole thing about it in a previous video that you guys are never going to get to see. I'll get into that in a second. And on top of being sick, like other stuff has happened with technical issues, I guess is kind of about it. So I started recording yesterday, or trying to record yesterday, the day before I'm recording this. And I had issues with the emulator because the emulator would like... I'm going to launch it, and the emulator just wouldn't show up. It would just be gone, like, off the monitor. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> like, I couldn't find the open window. I had, to, I would have to go and, like, find the ROM, and then open the ROM, and then the ROM would give me a pop-up. And the pop-up would lead the emulator to just start working for whatever reason. I've had to go so far as to try to uninstall and reinstall the emulator. <laughs> just a whole situation. I, I, I feel like I, I don't... Not required to justify why this took so long, but I feel like I need to get this out. Um, but I, I eventually got the game running, but the resolution was crap. It took, I spent 45 minutes just trying to get the stupid thing to work. And uh, by the time I finally got it ready, I recorded three episodes. I went through Goron City, I went to Dodongo's Cavern, I did a bunch of cleaning up in Hyrule Field and Castle Town and such. And then today I went to edit the videos and I can't even use them because the resolution is god awful. Like, and I'm hoping to God that doesn't happen again. I've, I've tested it uh, again and hopefully, you know, it works. I'm, I'll go ahead. First of all, I want to. Oh, I just ripped these. I thought there was a skull in there. Hold on. Let me go into Kakariko Village and we'll talk about this some more. I don't want to have to fight skeletons all day. Out of my way, sirs. But, um,. Go ahead and I'll put up just a little brief visual of what those graphics look like. And they don't look bad until you go full screen. But once you go full screen, they look awful. <laughs> and I was like, I can't use any of this. Like, I know no one's going to watch these videos anyway. Like, I'm painfully aware of that. But I at least want to at least pretend like I, I care about the quality of my content, you know? So I'm just like, okay, fine. I'll throw this away. And I'm not even going to bother messing with the emulators anymore. It's not worth it. So I had to hook up my Nintendo 64, start up a whole new um, file on Ocarina of Time because I didn't have one. The only file on here was the file that was on it from the previous owner because I got this off of eBay. So I had to start from the very beginning of the game and go through the Deku Tree and go through the Castle Town again. And now we're back to where I was. But now I gotta go through everything again. Lord help me. <laughs> I did find a couple of Gold Skull Tullas around in my uh, other videos, so we'll go ahead and use those now. That's like. Each of those videos was like 30 to 40 minutes long, and that's just content no one's ever going to get to see, just because... Like, like if you look at me and my VTuber, that's fine. The problem was not my VTuber. The problem was not the video in general, it was just the emulator. So I had to set up the 64 again, set up the capture card. And I'm just like... I, I, I went to emulators just to avoid... I even was singing the praises of how I, like wouldn't have to set up my consoles again or deal with the capture card or all that other fun stuff and i'm ending up having to do it and fix something in obs there we go <laughs> like it's just just a mess let's go tola i'm gonna get the sun song real quick in the hylian shield step 
But after a week of being sick, I come back to record again, and I can't record, so it just, just, just it sucked. <laughs> I was hoping to get content out today, but seeing as how it is currently rather late in the evening, I don't see that happening. We'll be able to come out till tomorrow, unfortunately. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been through. <laughs> and it's not for lack of trying, because I wanted to make content, and I made content, but the content just wasn't of quality. Even now looking at this in OBS, it's a little dark, but I'm like, I, I would rather it be a little dark than be the janky levels of pixelation. Well, let's talk to Dompe. What's What do you got, Dompe? I know he, I know he does a thing. Yeah, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. I'm gonna dig here, 10 rupees for one hole. Thanks a lot. So I'm assuming in one of these spots, there's like a piece of heart. Maybe? Also, I know there's like a... Sorry, save to Yeah, I know. Oh, I was... I was in... <laughs> well, died, Nabbit. I was in Kokiri Forest. I didn't get Sorry's song. Oops. Ah, Red Ruby. Thanks, Dompe. It's just been a whole thing. I, I just... I feel bad because I made content. But I wanted to put it out. It wasn't bad content, I just... Ugh. And again, I could have just used it. Because like I say, no one's gonna... watch the footage anyway, but... <laughs> I know that's kind of self-deprecating, but I got less than 20 views in the first two videos. Trust me. I know. And by on the first two videos, I mean between them. <laughs> Add it together, it's less than 20. <laughs> I'm well aware of how well my videos do. Anyway. God damn it. Cool, one green rupee. It's enough to buy another hole. Sure. Sculptola up there. I can't do anything with. Link. The hole, buddy. Go in the hole. There you go. See, I got all the way through Dodago's cavern and everything else, and now I gotta just go through it again. Sucks, but it is what it is. At least I wasn't that far in the game. Behind that wall is a fairy fountain. One thing I did in the other footage that you guys aren't going to get to see, but it's just a fairy fountain. I did a lot the whole lawn lawn ranch thing. Now I got to do the stupid super chicken thing again. Just so much fun. I was kind of, I kind of tempted to just not pick it back up again. Because it's, it's very heartbreaking to put effort into videos and just have them not work. You just kind of don't want to play the game again. I mean, I can't just not play the game again because who knows I've got enough unfinished content. So I apologize if the audio is a little off. I've tried to, um... Like, for God's sake, Link. Stop jumping over the hole. Um, the, the audio on the um, capture card is significantly louder than the audio from the emulator. So I've, tried, I've tried to adjust the levels. So it should sound not that bad. It's still, it's still a kind of a... Trying to figure out what works best, you know? 
hear that bat. There you are. Oh, there's more. Okay. Where are you at? Hear you. Ah, there you are. Get out of here. I apologize, I'm having to play on a different screen now, so my, my head's kind of all over the place. So if I look like I'm not looking at the screen, I promise you I am. It's just my... My new monitor placement. I gotta... I gotta go through this. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. Interesting poem, huh? Yeah, it's very depressing. I guess the one good thing about having to go through this all again is there's some stuff that I either discovered that I didn't know, or stuff that I remembered that I had forgotten. And you guys don't have to watch me fumble with it as much. That's really... That's the only real positive here. I guess it, I guess it just gets me back into using my, my capture card. Because the reason I stopped using my capture card, I've talked about this before, is because I was... Uh, trying to play Destiny 1 and for some reason my capture card just stopped wanting to capture my Xbox Series X so I was like okay screw it I'll just go to PC then <laughs> and then the emulators are just like well but so far it's only been the 64 emulator really that's given me any trouble the other emulators haven't been that bad not that I've tried to record on them but just generally playing on them and of course I've only ever played on the GameCube and Wii U emulators. The only reason I play on those two is because my GameCube is about to die and my Wii U's disk drive is broken, so I kind of don't have a choice. I'm paying, you know, a lot of money to get things fixed or replaced. But you know how it is. I'm sorry if this is an, inter an interesting, isn't an interesting comp topic of conversation. I'm trying to get that out there. I'm just trying to be, just trying to be real, you know? I feel like there's this is a very uh, odd take to have, but I feel like there's a lot of uh, there's a, how do I say this? There's there's enough creators out there who are like very bombastic and out there and high energy and whoa, let's get into the game and whatever. I don't I don't feel like there's enough. Even with the more mellow ones, they don't really talk about the behind-the-scenes stuff much, and I don't know. I just like being genuine. <laughs> See, I thought I was going to need to go in there, but I do not. What happened to the music? Why is there no music? Hey, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Uh, this is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Kind of funny game has our princess come up with now. A very real one, actually. Be careful, Mr. Hero. Ha 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 ha. Well, thanks, I guess. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. Active volcano. Oh yeah, I already got I got one out of the graveyard. I just haven't equipped it yet. You think you're good to go already? Don't worry about it. Your favor. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town? Everyone's talking about it. Pardon me. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. 
Would you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay. But well, I have no choice. This is my job, Sai. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oddly, oddly enough, like, even just playing the game, I mean, it just looks a lot better. Just on the screen I'm playing on, not on OBS, than it did on the emulator. Emulators are so, emulators are so fickle, man. I, I go back and forth on them. It kind of depends on the emulator. Like, if Sim Simu is fine. Dolphin is fine. And 64 emulators, eh. <laughs> the only three I've used, really. I guess I've kind of used Lime 3DS, but not enough to tell you anything about it. What happened to the music? Okay, there it is. I guess it was just so early in the morning, <laughs> the music hadn't started yet. Went to Castle. There's a couple of things I want to do in Castle Town before we uh, go on. I didn't. I didn't want to do any too much off camera. That I hadn't already done. Go in here. But I really could use some money. Pull. Oh. Link, roll into it, please, Link. Link. You're being really awful fickle today, man. I love how this guard just isn't stopping me. It's taking all of, like, the guard treasure. I imagine this is where, like, the Hyrule Castle guards just... Dash their money. Like, they can't tax it if they don't know I have it. Ha ha ha. Oh, you got taken by a ten-year-old, man. Mine now. Okay, so I want to... Some of these buildings, I don't even know what's in them. Trigger chest contest. Temporarily closed. Open tonight. Okay. I don't know what that is. We'll find out what's in here. Uh oh. Hello. Oh. Hello? They weren't open for business yet. Please come back soon. Well, what good are you then? Lots of stuff in here that I either don't remember or just haven't done in so many years. I want, I want to try this again because I'm doing this at an actual 64 now. It should be a little easier. Marginally. I get it. Okay, I get a I get a free repeat again. So it's green, blue, blue, and then jump green, then both blues. At least it's not random. Now the reds. Now these next ones will come faster. Just did by one. Yeah, this is definitely... I'm not, I'm not using an official 64 controller, but the third-party one I have is very, very nice. It's, uh, I posted about it on Twitter. It's called a retro bit. I would recommend if you're ever in the market for a 64 controller. I also make the same thing, but for uh, USB, so it works on Switch and PC. Would absolutely recommend. 100%. Not sponsored or anything, just really 
Nice controller. <laughs> Almost got it. Oh. Just about half a second. Okay. At least I'm not having to pay rupees to keep playing. Got it. Okay, there was really no need for me to do that. <laughs> Other than because I wanted to, there was no need for me to do that. Oh. Hello, mass salesman. I'm happy mass shop. We're dealing mass that brings happiness to everyone. Would you like to be a happiness salesman? Lend you a mask, you sell the mask, and bring the money back here. He's basically just like, yeah, go sell stuff for me. After you sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Let's keep the mask. Do I want to borrow the fox mask? Of course I want to borrow the fox mask. Who do you think you're asking? I think it's funny about this like the 90s era of the Legend of Zelda it's like in Link to the Past there's a segment where like there's the kid with the flute and you get the flute but the flute looks a lot like an ocarina and I, I imagine somebody at Nintendo being like hey you know the flute kid what if you made an entire game based around the flute <laughs> they made ocarina of time and then an ocarina of time they got the the mask job and then again someone was like hey you know the mask shop in ocarina of time well, we've made an entire game made around masks, and then Majora's Mask happened. <laughs> Probably not what happened, it's just funny to think about. Anyway. I don't remember what I, I get for this. I think I just get some rupees for this. How many Skulltellos do I have? Seven. Okay. Just, wanted, just wanted to see. Where's your mask? You think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something mask? I heard he's very popular recently. My boy's favorite, that key something. We don't mind. Will you sell it to me? Sure. Get the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You're in a little profit. Just sell the mask back. And the next mask is the skull mask, which I thought went to the kid in the graveyard. But he doesn't seem to want it when I talk to him, so it's probably something with that that I gotta do. Which I'll probably end up figuring out later. God, I wish this was faster. <laughs> what I get specifically for um for doing all the mask things. I think I get the Sheikah mask which lets me talk to the gossip stones. But like other than that, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Mm 
Okay, thank you. I'll worry about the other mask later. Now I want to go to Lon Lon Ranch. Take care of the stuff there, and then we'll go to Kokiri Forest and get the Saria song, because we'll need that later. And then we'll head on over to Death Mountain. So many little errands to run <laughs> in this game. I'm having the same issue. I've been playing um, Breath of the Wild in my spare time, and I, I, I played it once, and like, not when it first came out, but a couple years ago. And I didn't really do anything in it. I, I just I found all the towers, and I did enough shrines to level up my stamina once, and then get enough hearts for the Master Sword. That was about it. Um, and that was, and I did the Divine Beach, and that was it. I didn't do a whole lot of side quests. I didn't do a whole lot of running around or anything. But I didn't even know that you could go to the Akala Tech Lab and get arrows that were good against Guardians. Like I didn't even know that. I just didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't even know that you could take pictures of things and put them in the compendium and, like, have the sensor detect those things for you. I didn't even know that. Like, that's how that's how little effort I put into my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild. I beat Ganon, but that's about all I did. <laughs> What's up, bro? A lot for waking me up. I took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. You... What kind of grown man is afraid of his own daughter? Super cookies. Throw the cookie. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, fi I gotta find your three special chickens that don't really look different from the other chickens. I just gotta keep picking up chickens and hope I hope I find the right chickens. Alright, you're definitely one. Uh. There we go. I was I was just <laughs> I was just kinda going in the dark there. Just messing with me, I know, man. Come on. I'm a little bit on edge because I've already done this. <laughs> done this and recorded and everything. Yeah, I got a bottle with milk in it. Nice. I gotta go get a pound of salt. Uh, how'd you find my dad? Did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? I did, actually. I came in a hurry after you found him. He he. I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. And she's gone. Seems <laughs> like Epona's afraid of you. Well. Huh? Mother composed a song. Let's sing together. Okay, yeah, I gotta talk to her three times to get the song. You play the song with that ocarina? Yes. There we go. That will come in useful later. Hey, Owl. Tutorial Owl. Alright, opponent. See you in seven years. Bye. Like the one ruby, thank you. Okay, get out of here. It's critical carry forest, and there, just enough time left in this video to 
get sorry a song. Uh, I'll try to I'll make my way from uh, Kokiri Forest to Death Mountain in the interim between episodes. You know, it's funny, I, uh, when I, like, I started recording, like, almost right after I woke up this morning. Like, I woke up, I got food, and then I was like, I'm gonna start editing that footage from yesterday. And, uh, as soon as I saw that it was, like, bad footage, I was like, ugh. I got, I got so upset, I'm like, I need to, like, not be in the house for a little bit. <laughs> Just get in my car and go. I don't know why I wasted time doing that. I got I got nothing for that. The thing was deadly and had a lot of health and gave me nothing. Because I don't feel like dealing with style children. There we go. Yeah, here. Fuel beans. You know, in retrospect, it's probably a good thing I have to hook my 64 back up to this for this because honestly, I don't know that I'd ever played my actual, my actual cart of Ocarina of Time. But there's so many games I have that I like because uh, <laughs> before I tell this story, I want to I just have to let y'all know. Yes, I do have copious amounts of credit card debt from doing this, but I bought a bunch of a bunch of old a bunch of games, retro and newer games. A lot of which I've never played, and some I have played like previously, from copies I used to have. But the ones I have now, you know, never played them. Oh, you're great! You scored three perfect bullseyes. You have a neat present to such a wonderful person. Here's the other seat back. What was I talking about? Hey, Owl. Oh, well, I already forgot what I was going to say. How dare you interrupt my thought further? No, listen to the music, I know. Thank you, Owl. Pat, pat, pat. Just follow your ears, listen to the sounds. Yeah, I didn't need a whole spiel, Owl. That's all I needed. But yeah, okay, I, I remember now. Um, so, to a period where I started buying a lot of retro games, this is actually a pretty neat story. It was one time, I think it was back in 2020, I think. Yeah, like the, the, the heck? I thought this was a death, this would have led me the wrong way. Thank you, nuts. Five pieces, 20 rupees, no, go away. There's a, a bean thing here. I don't have any beans, though. Hole here. Um, but, like, uh, yeah, like, it was like the week after Christmas in 2020. What the heck is this? Hold on, hold on, what? Hello? Far stage, we see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. Never seen this before. Hello? There's just nothing here. There's a bunch of Deku scrubs here, but I don't know how to interact with them. Now, 
And I'll finish that story in just a second. I'll wake him up. Nope, that doesn't. Okay, well, bye. I'll uh, so you. Once. I hit B, not A, but I guess that's the confirm button. Whatever. I will never be able to find that again, I assure you. Okay, through the Lost Woods. Anyway, so... I, uh... Was, the, the week after Christmas in 2020, I had a... desire to play uh, some of the old Game Boy Pokemon games. The particular on which one, just anything from like Gen 1, 2, or 3. But at the time, I don't think I had any, hardly any Pokemon games on me. And um, I think the only one I may have had was a maybe Ultra Moon on my 3DS downloaded. And uh, so I went to this a local game store that usually had old Pokemon games in stock, like almost always. But I went and looked, and like, no, they didn't have any. And you can just, in the, uh, the display case for the Game Boy games is, like, right there in front, and if you've ever seen the old Game Boy Pokemon games, they're very easy to spot. <laughs> but after a quick look, I was like, oh, they don't have any, whatever, I'll walk around. And I did end up finding a copy of, uh, Pokemon Coliseum for GameCube, which was nice. But I ended up walking, uh, I, I'm in the store about ten minutes, right? And in the ten minutes I was in there, literally three people walked in the front door, Went to the cashier and said, hey, do you guys have any old Pokemon games? I'm not, not even kidding. Within 10 minutes, three people. This was the week after Christmas. At least I think it was after Christmas. It was definitely late December. Like that. I can't hear you. And then, uh, and, and I, that kind of stirred something in my brain that was like, huh, these games are probably getting more and more, not only more and more valuable, but they're going to be harder and harder to find. So I figured if I'm going to buy them, I should probably start buying them so I can have them and then not just be, you know, eventually become lost media to have a physical copy. And, uh, started with Pokemon and there's a whole bunch of other games, including Legend of Zelda. And I don't, I don't have complete, complete sets. I do have, like, Everything from like red, blue, and yellow up through scarlet and violet. I don't have all the spinoffs though. And, uh, it's a lot of credit card debt. <laughs> I haven't really gone too heavy on the collecting in several months, quite a few months now. And uh, <laughs> I'm still paying off the bill. Why I was kind of hesitating to go to emulators because like I spent all this money on these games. I want to be able to play them. I hate for them to just sit there. That's kind of part of the fun of recording them, is that it gives me a chance to play them. So sorry I just talked over that. It was just sorry of being like, ah, this is the sacred forest meadow. This is the forest temple. I feel like this will be important to both of us someday. Let's play a song together. Thank you, Saria. I think... I think that'll about do for now. Because now I think I just gotta go to Death Mountain. I think I've done everything else that I wanted to do. So with that, I think we'll go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and let me know. Leave a comment and let me know what you're thinking about uh, this series so far. Hopefully I won't have to scrap this video too. <laughs> if I do, I'm going to be quite upset. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.